Even when we don't realize it, algorithms are helping us make decisions, impacting the information we receive, the places we go, the connections we make, and the relationships we build. Why did you stumble across your new favorite birria taco recipe? How is it that you can find the closest laundromat when you need it the most in the blink of an eye? What can streaming services know about our tastes? For better or worse, algorithms have become more and more intertwined with our everyday lives. But what exactly are algorithms and how do they work? Let's hold off pressing the enter button for a sec and look under the hood. Under the clean design of this search site lies a world of computer code. These little bits of code build the site. Those baking and eating cookies are used to identify and log your user data. This little bit of code brings up the information that no one reads, but probably should. And at the very heart of all this world of code is the search engine algorithm. Okay, so an algorithm is just a specific set of instructions or steps used to solve a given problem. While code is commonly used to express algorithms, not all algorithms are written in code. Say you have a bunch of ingredients and your problem is that they're not cake. In this case, a cake recipe is the algorithm you need. Simply input your ingredients, follow a bunch of steps, and the problem is solved. Now you have a cake. The search engine algorithm works just like this, only that it is built using steps that can be algorithms themselves. An algorithm of algorithms, if you like. Now let's hit that enter button. The first algorithm tries to understand what you are asking for. By breaking up this search query, it identifies the keywords, checks for spelling, and cross-references with synonyms. This algorithm allows the search engine to derive meaning. The next algorithm does the searching by comparing your query against an enormous database containing information about hundreds of billions of web pages. This database is itself created by another set of algorithms called crawlers, which search the web constantly looking for new and updated pages in order to index and rank them in a gigantic database. The first step is simple. Just look for websites that contain similar keywords. The second step uses AI, or machine learning, to compare the meaning of what you're looking for with what's effectively on the site. So now we've got a big list of results, but there are far too many to show on the screen. Which one should you be shown, and in what order? This sub-step ranks the results in order of expertise, authoritativeness, and trustworthiness. One way of doing this is seeing how many other authoritative sites have linked to this particular result. This step ranks the site on how user-friendly it is. Finally, this last step compares the results against your previous web mm -hmm. user history and personal details to ensure the content is best suited for you. And le voila, here's your search results. Okay, here we go. In essence, algorithms are simply a series of instructions that are followed, step by step, to do something useful or solve a problem. Incredibly, search engine algorithms do all this in a fraction of a second. Algorithms are incredibly useful tools for dealing with large data sets, but are also behind a lot of things we encounter as we go about our daily lives. When you type a text message into your phone, algorithms are used to convey it to the person you are sending it to. When you buy something online, algorithms are used to make it harder for cyber criminals to intercept your credit card information. If you twist your knee while playing soccer and get an MRI scan, the resulting images are created using an algorithm. Algorithms are also used to predict the path of dangerous storms and to develop new drugs to cure diseases. In an increasingly data-rich world, algorithms are learning more about us and are increasingly used in ways that shape our lives. But while algorithms bring many benefits, they can also raise concerns. One of the most important challenges with algorithms is bias. Let's revisit our search engine algorithm. In step 3a, we talked about quality control and authoritative and trustworthy sites. But who measures this? and how is it quantified? Watch episode two, 
When algorithms don't work, 